He has just given a talk about Spock. His name is Martin. Hello, Martin. Hello. How are you? Thanks. I'm fine. Okay. Um, in your talk, you were talking about this uh, TDD with Spock. Um, why are you using this framework for, for this? For, you know, this clean code thing and this stuff? Yes, uh, I've been developing software for years, uh, yeah. but at some point I uh, noticed that I'm not, uh, I'm not satisfied with the way how it is created. And I started to looking for the solutions which would allow me to create maintainable and uh, maintainable and readable code. It uh, points me to software craftsmanship and the techniques related to automatic code testing. Uh, I started to use it at uh, my work and it proved to be so useful that I decided to share this knowledge with others uh, so everyone could benefit. And uh, I'm a big fan of test-driven development and I use it on a daily basis. And uh, uh, the situation when I encountered Spock was, the, was the another important think uh, another thing in my technical life uh, because spoke it uh, makes uh, writing tests even easier and on the surface uh, the specification is very compact is very readable and maintainable but there are ha hidden uh, nooks and crannies in spoke which uh, allows uh, which allow advanced user to get even more from spoke and uh, it, uh, together it composes uh, very well with uh, the driven development and allows to create a uh, reliable, reliable software uh, which is guided by tests and uh, it has, uh, usually it has clean design. Good reasons. Um, you also, well, you're really concerned about this software craftsmanship thing. Uh, you have like many concerns, you've just talked to me before the interview. Um, you you tend to write them in a blog you have, right? Is it like a, do you, well? Can you tell us about this blog to the to the audience? Yeah, see, it was uh, many years ago. Um, I'm not very social person, uh, but uh, I'm uh, I've been heavily involved in open source project development, and I needed a place to write about my projects uh, so other people could uh, be aware of cool stuff I'm creating. Uh, so my solid soft working code is not enough block emerge and uh, I'm specialized in automatic testing and things related to code quality in general so it's uh, the most uh, common topic on my blog. Uh, I write about tools, extensions uh, like uh, mutation testing with PyTest or Java 8 module for Mukito, but also about the techniques and mechanisms uh, in Spock which uh, could make your tests even more uh, maintainable and uh, readable. Uh, in addition, I'm an, an, I'm an enthusiast of uh, widely defined concurrence in parallelism, so topics related to Edix Java or uh, or reactive computing are also common. Uh, I have to mention that I'm also uh, a big fan of continuous delivery and I do, I do it on a ba daily basis and uh, in addition I try to promote it in open source community. Uh, for example, recently I created a proposal for uh, automatic re releasing uh, to, J to Maven Central from Travis for Spock to um, shorten ta the time which is uh, required to make your pull request merge to master and uh, that feature after a few minutes will be would be available in uh, the newly created uh, released uh, um, uh, Spock version from Maven Central. So uh, what uh, in my opinion would uh, help uh, to improve uh, the number of contributors to Spock in general. Also you have done the call for papers for next year <laughs> you have a talk for next year then <laughs> not yet but yes i plan to talk about that uh, once uh, successful okay so many thanks and good luck with this project and yeah see you around the conference mm -hmm. thank you the interview